Hey, good morning, everyone. This is Tanya at Side Gig Crafts. And guess what? I'm home. Yay. Vacation over. I had a wonderful time. And I've got some packages sitting here waiting for me. Hi, Cashy. Guess who is glad I'm home? Yes, the cat has been the most obnoxious. I thought it was going to be the dog, but <laughs> as happy as the dog is to see me, my cat is over the top. Cash has been at my side the whole time I've been home and I'm so excited to be here my bed. and okay I did some scrapbook.com shopping you guys because you know sometimes you need to I got some goodies so I got a spray bottle not a big deal I needed one for my craft room and I got let's look and see what I got yeah, I did. Ooh, I can't even remember exactly what I got. But I know that I needed some distress inks and sprays. And um, I went ahead and got, got a few that I thought I'd be using for the holidays. And I got... Ooh, oh, hey, I didn't order that. That's cool. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. I ordered that. I was like, oh, they sent me something free. No, they didn't. They would have, but it was that day they were sending out um, letter stickers, and I just don't use those. So I was like, meh, give them to somebody else. <laughs> All right. Mm. Coffee. Oh, so good to be home. What a wonderful trip. What a wonderful time to spend time with family, but I am so happy to be home. All right. I did get some three-fourths inch tape because you can always use it, right? And I don't think I had any this size. I was actually looking, trying to look for some bigger, but um, I couldn't believe the pricing on some of that stuff. I'm like, mm, no, I think I can do just as much with this 3 4 inch. And I've already got half inch, quarter inch, and all those other. So I'm gonna try this one and see what I can do. I think this is gonna be great for certain projects that I need a little bit more space on. Um, so I don't have to do two strips of the others. I've got some lumberjack, oh God, lumberjack plaid, you guys. Let's talk about lumberjack plaid. What a gorgeous color that is. Can you guys see that? I love this color. I was so excited to see them bring this out. And um, if you guys haven't been watching Tim Holtz on Saturdays, I wish I didn't, but I did. And the only reason I wish I didn't was because I always wanna buy something I know that's the purpose, but you know, look at that color. Isn't that beautiful? So this is the same one. Yep, Lumberjack Plaid. This is the Distress Oxide Spray. I'm assuming it'll look more like the, this when it's shook up. It's got all the cloudy at the bottom. Um, so pretty, you guys, so pretty. Uh, can't wait to use that. And is this the same one? This is the Victorian Velvet. This is the... Why did I get this bottle? I don't know why I got this bottle instead of the other things, but whatever, it'll work. I can use it. So maybe I'll just have to get the pad too, or maybe I did. I don't know. And then I got the Distress Ox. Let's see, this one's Uncharted Mariner. I know you guys probably already have these because look at these colors together. Ooh, la la. Very, very pretty. I'm thinking Valentine's Day too, right? right? Christmas and Valentine's Day. And then I got bundled sage. I don't have a lot of um, different colors of this stuff. I have mostly you know, browns, black, you know, the huge. And then this one is peeled, peeled paint. Oh, gorgeous color. Every time I see it, I'm like, what color is that? That's the one I want. This is like my favorite green ever. Look, I mean, it's close. <laughs> um, actually, it's closer to that one. It's somewhere in between. But gorgeous colors of green. And then I got, I didn't get a lot, did I? But it, I spent plenty. All right, um, grit paste. I got Snowfall grit, grit Paste. I love this stuff. How he puts it through the stencils on the um, acetate. It looks like snow. It's so pretty. I can't wait to play with this. And guess what? This one won't be dried out when I open it. Ha, ha, ha. I'll get to keep it clean and, and nice and use it. I got Lumberjack Plaid in the pad. And then I got Aged Mahogany also. So I think I meant to get this 
in this format. But here we go. And I can, um, I'll probably order the pad to go with that. that refill. So I also got one more thing. I got the, then let's dye. This one is number 665930. Can't wait to use it. This has got the specimen, the specimen um, thing on there. And I had an idea with um, using some old slot uh, negatives that I have and using it in here. And I think it's going to be fun. I'll show you guys when I start to put that together. So I'm excited to use this one. I love this one. Um, just all the little pieces. love this. It's going to be fun to use and add to my collection. So not only do I have this haul. So this is fun, obviously. You guys, I want to show you what we created and why I was on the ink mind frame here. So one of the things, <laughs> my dad is a woodworker. He actually made this bowl and several others. If you guys saw my short little clips while I was there, um, we've been having a lot of fun out in his wood shop. He and I got an idea years ago and I had been watching uh, I have been watching some creators on YouTube making wood projects with the late wood lathe. And I went back home for vacation and told my dad about it. And we watched some videos together and, and started kind of brainstorming. And he got so excited. He went and bought a wood lathe. And so it's been kind of a, a project that he and I have been doing together and learning together but he's way ahead of me because he's already worked with lit with wood so much in his life. He has been doing carpentry since he was a um, intern when he was in high school. So he's built so many amazing things. And, uh, I, I he said, well, what do you want to build when we get there? And I told him there's something I, I have this in mind. I wanted to make ink blotters. You guys, those of us with hands with arthritis or, you know, have trouble grasping or holding things for a long time. This is one I made, but, he made these super excited but we i was looking at him and i said dad i don't think they're big enough we got a picture and the picture showed that they were an inch around and all the ads and everything on amazon said they were an inch around they're not an inch around this is an inch around my dad is precise I t and i started making stuff and he goes tanya yours are not an inch around i said dad i just don't think that's right um, and we didn't have a craft store nearby to buy the pads. So I was making them slightly larger. And I said, you know, if it's, if it's too big, I can always bring it down. Um, but I made some fun ones. Um, but I think it's, it's probably right. And you guys, guess what? They're perfect. They're perfect. So I am going to be putting these together. I've got three, four, five, six of them that I made. I'm going to keep these because my daddy made them for me. Um, I've got six of them so far. I'm going to be starting to make these. They're super easy to make and fun. And I was thinking of all of us who have trouble holding these things, you know, these little tiny ones, these little itty bitty guys, and pinching and using this. It gets tiring for my hands. And I was thinking I can't be the only person that has trouble with that. So I wanted to make something that was a little bit more ergonomical for myself and for others to be able to... Um, to use. So that is what I did. I made some. So um, these will eventually be going up in my Etsy. Once I get them finished up, I've got to glue the pads and staple them and make sure that they're really nice and tight and get um, sponges on each one of them before I do that. But that's um, a work in progress. So that's my fun treat. That's something we did together while I was gone. Then I went thrift shopping. I got a, well, I say thrift, more like antique shopping. I did some painting for my mom around the house. She did some, um, had some chairs. She wanted, she's been asking me to put flowers on for years and I just hadn't got to it. So now I did. And let's see. My daughter picked these up at the antique store. I don't know that they are antique, but they were sure cute. And let's see if there's a date on these. 1992. So it's not, a, it's not, but look at this. How cute is that? It's each month of the year. Wouldn't this be fun? Fun to um, go ahead and make a journal out of. I love it. I've never seen this one, but super, super cute. That's the name of the shop was Old Town Clovis uh, or Clovis Antique Mall is what it's called. 
and they just had some advertising for different events that they were having. And then she got this one too. I love this one, ABC Garden. This one, let's see if there's a date in this one. 1992 as well. But look at this little clown, isn't he cute? And he's sleeping on a cloud. Look at all the animals sleeping. But they've got um, such fun pictures in here. Look at that. I think this one's really cute too. Vegetables and fruits. Kind of goes with the food theme. She knew I'd like it. Look at the asparagus. Super cute. So we got those. And then I found this. <laughs> um, I thought my mom would like it. But she didn't she got a little creeped out and i was like you know what i love it so i'm gonna take it home look somebody made it um they said this was a um uh mexican what do they call it um folk art and it's like a big tag created and a, a, there's cardboard in there or some kind of board i know it's it's kind of brittle and old and then it's just got all these different fabrics on here and they're sewn and I did glue this piece back on because it was falling off big time. But I just, I absolutely loved it. I thought, you know what, this is somebody's handcrafts. And um, I love it. I'm gonna put it up somewhere in my house. I'm not sure where yet, but I love their little faces. So I got that. I also, while I was there, this is more of the antique place, but I wanted to show you, I got some, some projects done. <laughs> I have 18 little soldiers. Look at these little guys, you guys. I took a, a package, a kit for 20. I got all 20 done, but mom kept two. So I have tw I have 18 left. Aren't they darling? I think, oh, these guys need cuffs. A couple of them need a couple pieces. I didn't have quite enough, but I got 18 little soldiers. I got my own little army right here. Aren't they fun? So Harvey has been made. So he's done. There's a project. And I got some Santa bag toppers done. I've got these bags I can put away. I can reuse those. So little Santa bag toppers. These were supposed to have a little mouth on them just under here, but I didn't. I cut it out of the wrong paper because I thought they were supposed to be ears. These kind of got munched a little bit in, in travel, but they're still really cute. And I need to trim that up. Um, Super cute. I left the mouth off because I thought they were pretty cute the way they were. And like I said, I cut them out of the wrong color. And I wasn't using, I'm seeing the difference. So I used um, a different glue. I'm not gonna say what kind because it's, it's not about the glue. It's just about using, you know, something different. I really love my Barely Arch. You guys know that if you watch my channel for any period of time. Um, but I had to get something that was available to me there because I couldn't take glue on the airport airplane at least not much of it so um and I didn't want a chance having them thrown away you can see how it wet it was that it kind of changed the paper and I think that's part of what I'm seeing it looking kind of munched but um it's just yeah you can tell the difference and I'm so glad I'm home <laughs> and then you guys as if that wasn't enough Oh yeah, I sat at my kitchen counter while mom and dad and I talked. They drank beer and talked and I made things. So look at this little guy, he's so cute. And then um, cookies, I got cookies for days. I got pink ones and white ones. And this is these are the ones I was making when I was talking to dad about making the, the um, daubers. So I've got, you know, at least a dozen cookies, at least. Got more soldier here. And then I've got words, gingy, kisses. I think these are all, are they all gingy? And I think they're all gingy and kisses because those are the only ones that fit through my tiny die cut. So I just made some a bunch of those. So I've got just a bunch of pieces. So that is my project share. Let me get back to my thrifting haul because, oh my goodness, I found more faux family. You guys, I know you love these. Mm. Probably as much as I do. So I found Morpho Family, and these are awesome. I found this, it's only a dollar, and I love it. This is from, 
it's a little, here is a little book for you. Just take it now and read it through. Page 66, verse 31, believe it and the work is done. Um, Gospel of John the Apostle. Look at this amazing little book. 33rd million. And I don't know if there's a date on it. God's plan for saving sinners. There's some music in here. This might be old enough. I might be able to make copies of it. That's what I was kind of hoping I could do. Jesus is a fisher of men. I thought this was really cool. Let's see. I don't see a date on it. Somebody did some drawing or writing on there. Wilbur Styles, 97. 16 Holtwood. I don't know what that means. But I thought this was really pretty darn cool. So I got that. And I got these super cute seed packets. I paid a little bit more for these, but oh well, whatever. I thought these were going to be great for um, journals. These little seed packets. And they're actually the full packet. They'll be great pockets. And then I got family. Can you guys see these? Let me see if you can see these. How far do I need to go? Let me zoom in a little bit. I'll try to keep them right in here. Right here by my daubers and my, my coffee. I'll try to keep them there. Look at those pictures. We were making up stories about these people. It was so fun. Look at that. Look at the tricycles in the back. Amazing. I'm assuming they're kind of, you know what? I kind of want to push this down a little bit. Hang on, you guys. I'm going to zoom back out. And I'm going to put my camera a little lower so I can kind of see what you see. If I can get this in there. There we go. That's probably a better level. Then I can see what's going on. This looks like she could be one of my relatives. <laughs> and it doesn't really, there's nothing on the back of them. So I don't know anything about the pictures really. That one's really cool. Look at this old car, this old uh, railroad car thing. I don't know what they're called. Isn't that the kind of pump that they, yeah, they've got the handles on them. Look at these children. That looks like she's probably the mom. Huh? I thought they were so fun. I got a lot of winter ones. Look at them in the snow. Love these two. What is it, Cash? He looks cold. Look if you can see his breath. The snow. This gentleman looks very dapper. He's got a little pinky ring even. Not a wedding ring, but he's got a pinky ring. <laughs> I got this one. It's the uh, the Tides calendar for 1970, which is the year I was born, which is interesting. So this is from uh, Morro Bay, California, which I'm very familiar with because that's you know we we go there for our, um, you know day trips and stuff when I lived in California, and so it's the high and low water prediction along Central California coast. And so they've got all the information for 1970 in there. I thought this would be a blast, even if people don't know what it is, to put into like um, 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 coast or ocean journals or projects. Be kind of fun to put it in there. There's a 1970 calendar. Super cool. Hi, Cashy. You guys, she has been so obnoxious. She will not let me out of her sight since I got home. She's been cuddly. <laughs> and that is not who she is. It's been very interesting just to, uh, my cat missed me. Maybe more than my dog. Look at this little girl. Isn't she adorable? Look at that little face. She's so cute. I got this one out in the snow. I just love these. This one. Anderson's Perfect Print, copyrighted, Idaho. 
that's where it was copyrighted. So I'm assuming it was probably taken there because there's no snow, not much snow here or in California here either. She's so pretty in her dress. And then this is Morro Bay. And it says June 1957. The funny thing is, it doesn't look any different now. So June 1957, here's another. Very, very neat. Some little children again. Kind of curious if these were the same family. I love this picture. First of all, it's torn or cut. And she's in getting in this old car. What a fun picture. I'm curious what was on the top of it. I think that's the same little girl or sister because it looks like the same scenery. And I found some postcards. This is um, Russian River, California. Retreat for San Francisco and Bay Cities people, which is probably why I've never seen it. Is viewed from famous Redwood Highway 101. Beautiful drives. Okay. But look at that. Really cool postcard. Is there a date? Uh-uh. I don't see a date on it anywhere. Then we've got this one. thought that was kind of cool. This is from Kaku Baldwin. I don't know what that means or how to say that. Felton, California. I'm not even sure what that is either. Built in 1890 for service in the sugarcane fields of Hawaii. Wait, what? So the, the train was built for sugarcane fields in Hawaii, but it's in Felton, California, I guess. Hmm. All right. And then look at these little babies with their little dollies. They're so cute. Yeah, most of these don't have dates on them or anything, or any kind of information. I'm probably going too slow. You guys are probably all bored. But this is my faux family. Aren't they fun? She's got all the dolls. sweet. This one is Mount Jefferson in Oregon. I thought it was just beautiful. We've got some beach pictures. This one is also June 1957. There's a seagull up there. All these ladies that are all dressed up and got their pearl strands of pearls on. Very fancy. I got another one of this lady. She doesn't look very happy, does she? She looks less than amused. <laughs> these beautiful ladies. Thought that was a cute picture. Look at the snow. And then we've got this one. This one is, let's see. This is Monterey, California. Yep, yep. And let's see, there's a few more photos before I get into that one. Got this little sweet little girl playing with her, her dolls. I don't know where this is. It's kind of a cool picture though, I thought. It'd be great to just um, put in there. So, oh, it says it's this one's copyrighted in Idaho too. So I'd assume it's not even local. It's probably from Idaho. Look at this one. This is one of my favorites. I can't believe I found this picture. Look at the snowman. Perfect for Christmas, right? I'm gonna have to scan this one in. Definitely. And we've got this one. This one is Point Lobos State Park in California. Very cool. I'm not sure exactly where that is either. I love this little boy. I named him Timmy. He's out in the garden. And then we've got this one. This one is Cove Beaches, rugged California coast on highway number one. So 
probably weren't even named at the time. I don't know. And we've got this beautiful couple here. And then this one. Is that the same place? Point Lobo State Park, yeah. And then I told my parents, this looks like one of our family vacations at Pismo, and it is at Pismo. And there's this, these two cuties. They make me smile. More ocean. Sledding in the snow. That's the same girl that was building the snowman. Look at her wearing a skirt in the snow. <laughs> this one actually has some writing on it. They're using, uh, writing a garbage can lid is what it says. She's writing a garbage can lid. I wish there was a date. I, oh, that, maybe that is the date, 1-355. It's very likely. Look at this old car in the snow. Got a bent little bumper there, it looks like. That one's cute, a little toboggan. Isn't that adorable? No date on that one. Is that cute little girl outside the door again? And then a little girl with the trikes again. And then I got, so that's all my faux family. I found lots of them, didn't I? Really, really cool. I found this, which I thought was really cool too. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know how to say that. It's Amsterdam. I got that part. But look at this. It's like um, it's like a tour guide for a zoo. The animals, the llamas, the camels. It's all. None of it's in English. <laughs> Otherwise, I'd probably understand and know more. But look at all the animal pictures. And then look at these ladies. They're standing outside. And they're look at their dresses and the men in their suits. Look at them. Isn't that amazing? So the date on this... I saw... So this, I, don't, I don't know if these came... I see something. I'm assuming that's the copyright 1838. I'm assuming that's what that means. If it's a similar word, 1838 is what's on here. And then it was in with this that says 1905 from May 1905 until September 1905. Holland America line. I don't know if these are related somehow or if they were just put in together in a package together. But this one's in English and it talks about the, um, it's a um, summer service 1905. But it talks about the different, the places, their passengers. So I'm talking about if you're, you know, if your destination is such and such, then you need to do this and that. Taken from the official railroad timetables. So this is a railroad for the railroad, and it talks about when they when they arrive. So I thought that was pretty cool, pretty cool find in 1905. And this, there's no copyright there. I can scan that too. So super, super cool finds, you guys. And um, I think that's it for my share and tell today. But so fun, right? I still, I did some other shopping while I was gone, so there'll be more. But can't wait to start using some of these Distress Oxide sprays. Can't wait to finish up these um, daubers and get those posted. If anybody's interested in those, keep an eye out. I'll let you know when they're, when they're uh, posted in my Etsy. Um, and so now that I'm back, I can also start talking about the, um, 700 subscriber giveaway, uh, which is also going to be road to 800 because now we're at 730. Yay. 
and I just want to thank you all so much once again and always for your love and support and for hanging in there with me and enjoying my videos, all your kind comments, uh, sharing and liking and everything that you guys do for me every day. And I just really, really appreciate you. So without all that, you guys, I wouldn't, I wouldn't bother doing it. So I love it. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. I will be checking back with you guys soon. I have more to share with you, but for now, I think I'm going to call it it. <laughs> I've shared all my goodies. Um, thank you all. I hope you all have a wonderful day. It's so good to be home. I've missed you and I hope you're doing well. So can't wait to hear from you. <sighs> Thanks again. Take care and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.